Hi friends. So we're doing an experiment tonight and I don't even know if anybody's going to see this ever. I suppose that's true of all of my videos. So I got a stamp pad. Ooh, this smells. It's supposed to be like um, watermarks. So I'm just going to stamp a bunch of papers. Well, I wiggled that one. That is Tamoy River. This is Beautiful. This is Midori Cotton. I don't actually know how you're supposed to use stamp pads anymore. Stop. This is Endless Regalia. And this is a coloring card. Now. Now I guess I have to let this wait. Do you think you're supposed to clean off these stamps? Is that how stamps work? Do you have to clean them off? I kind of want to. I have water right here. Those of you who stamp, half of you are like, oh God, no, don't clean it. What are you doing? Or something. But it's too late. <laughs> you weren't here. Either that or you're like, yeah, good on you. You cleaned it off. That's what you're supposed to do. Let me know below. Are you a stamper? This is my only stamp that I own, which I bought today because I needed a stamp. Because I was like, I want to try this thing, but I didn't want like a flowery stamp or, you know, I had visions in mind for what I wanted. I was actually like looking for a block of linoleum and stamp carving tools. Not that I think I could stamp carve, but I didn't like the other options presented to me. Um, I also was looking at paintbrushes and they had these at the craft store. I try not to go to the cra the big box craft stores. I'm, I'd rather, always rather support local, but uh, I could get what I needed from there. So. Sometimes that's what wins. Convenience. Now, I think what I'm going to do, this doesn't look like it's stamped very well. What I'm going to do now is pause for some amount of time. And we're going to come back to this when I think these have dried. I'm unpausing briefly to say... This is taking forever to dry, just so you're aware. Uh, forever. And also, on one of them, I think it's not going to work at all. I think it's going to just soak into the paper, but I'm really curious to see what happens with it. So, back to pausing and waiting for things to dry. I guess we could all be glad that I'm not asking you to sit here and watch things dry. Hi, update. It's still drying. Also, I'm watching streams. Apologies about the sound. So... Let's see how long till it dries. Still not dry. I'm really impatient. But like... This still isn't dry. That's still not dry. This might be almost dry. Two of them are dry. Okay, so... Let's try with two. Because I'm impatient. Although, y'all, I mean, it's not that impatient to, like, expect that a stamp pad is going to dry faster than, like, 20 minutes. I don't think, you know. So, this is Earl Grey. 
because I had it. I have a lot of it. We wanted to see what would happen. You don't look dry. I mean, part of you looks dry. Let's see if part of it's dry. Maybe you don't want to wait till it's dry. Let's come over here. Well, friends, we've learned some important lessons today. Patience is a virtue, but not one of mine, and perhaps overrated when it comes to our art experiment. So, what was I doing here? Well, maybe it's obvious. I really like those cat cards. I wanted to see if I could replicate it. So, Tomoe River Paper, Endless Regalia, Midori Cotton, Coloring, Iroful. By the way, sorry if you hear my computer. So, steps. I stamped them. Where'd my thing go? Here is the stamp pad I used. The stamp is a donut. Now, I don't particularly love the donut as much as like the cat face, but like what would I want? Like some kind of devil face maybe, a ghost, a heart, a secret message. I'm not sure, but this is what happened because I like donuts and I was hungry. So, success. The least successful, aka not at all successful, is the Midori Cotton. But check this out. That's pretty neat. That's like magic, so this would not work. I didn't think it would, I think I needed a coated paper, but this is how experiments go. Coloring. This might work if it was to not dry all the way. And again, the same sort of thing was happening on the back where it's like creeping through a little. Then the more successful ones are the coated papers. These, the ink did not feel dry. And what I'm seeing here is, now I probably didn't, I probably wiggled it a little, but it seems like it's a spread. That might be just misapplication though. So here it is on the Iroful. That's pretty successful, I'd say. Now, something, I don't know if these spots in here of dryness are because my um, brush was dry or if the bigger concern is, was the ink still dry? And if so, or excuse me, was the ink still dry? Was the stamp pad ink still wet? And if so, did that then get in my brush that I then kind of drug across the page? That's a possibility, I'm not sure. Here's the Tamoa River. This, not super successful, but again, it might be because I was letting it dry and it needed to not be quite as dry. So the it's not as crisp of an image. And you can see where on the back, it is starting to like want to bleed through in places where that, ink pad ink was. And then we have 
this endless regalia, regalia, whatever. This bled, but this bled not because of the stamp pad. It's bleeding in areas outside of the stamp pad. This just bled because it's a lot of ink. But not, I mean, this is a huge swath. It's not like I think this paper would bleed if you were just writing on it with a pen, to be clear. But, so, if you want to make your own, you know what we should have tried? Are we going to have to pause even longer so that I can try this? Uh. Okay. I think this is a failed experiment, but it's an experiment nonetheless. I got some photo paper, like inkjet photo paper. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Wow. Okay, here we are, friends. So if you'd like to pay, if you've thought to yourself, you know, swatch cards are not expensive enough, maybe I can DIY something that costs even more. Photo paper. I'm really curious to see how this dries. Now I want to swatch other inks on this. Who do we have on my desk? Are you ink? Yeah, you're ink. Let's take an ink that we know is a good shading ink. Put that on here. I mean, not that like Earl Grey is not a good shading ink, obviously. But maybe a more subtle one. It happens to be on my desk for unrelated reasons. So we'll do a little swatch just to see what the various papers think of this. Ooh, the surface of this is so bizarre. Ooh, I don't know if I like it. Look at it, it's so funky. This is the most excitement I've had playing with ink in a little while. I just didn't know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I cannot believe how, I've like got only uh, two thirds of a bottle of this one. My heart is broken. So interesting, you can tell, I think, kind of a lot on this paper if an ink is wet or dry, lubricated or unlubricated, in my brief experience right here. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. This water is pretty. So. So this is Abalone by Troublemaker. And this is Hissy Fit. Van Ness Inc. And this is Dye Mine Earl Grey. And... I don't think that this photo paper is, sorry, if you just heard my friend screaming. Um, I don't think that this paper is as color accurate. Um, this, I don't know if you can see, has way more shading but also the color looks different. This, <sighs> yes, please. I wonder if this bit that is wet is like ever going to dry or if 
I bet that this paper eventually reaches a saturation point where it won't. <gasps> what happens if we want if we put water on it then? This was a free sample, this paper. So don't feel too bad about it. Just a little bad. Just light treason. So, interesting experiment. You can make a watermark stamp, kind of like those, look, I don't know where I put them. They're put away. The cat, the cat swatch cards. Maybe we've seen. You can do a pretty good version of it on this photo paper. This is, uh, I don't know who makes it, but it was called Luster. So this, you can see, is not a super glossy finish. It's kind of, mm, I'd call it eggshell if it was paint. Um, but this does not show off the ink properties. I think the most successful for showing off the ink properties is this Eudelful. I wish I had used a, a piece of Cosmo Air Snow, but at this point, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm done. I have other things I need to do, and it's getting hot in here. Um, so if you wanted to make your own, you could maybe use Eudelful. However, it does need to be a coated paper. So, this coloring did not work well at all. I do think that another method you could try to use to accomplish this is instead of using a stamp, I've been thinking about this a lot, instead of using a stamp and verse mark, you could use a stencil and something like a gloss or matte acrylic medium. That would also act as a resist. Um, honestly, if you're totally into it, you could look up some of the techniques for watercolor resists because it's going to be pretty similar. And I think, I think, I think that I'm right about gloss or matte medium acting as a resist. The resist. Obviously, I haven't tested it. But I've got to go now. I have stuff to do. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Um... Do anybody feel like donuts now? Because I feel like donuts. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you see this. Take care. Bye.